Okay, gang, we're back. We're studying up so we can make 100 on exam one. We're looking at a 2D problem, uh, and then this is from chapter three. This is 2D statics on a particle, okay? So what do we have here? We got a couple of uh, campers, and they've been out in the woods, and they don't want the bears to get their backpack, and so they have it hung up in a tree. When they pull on this pulley, it'll raise the backpack up in the air, okay? So find the max weight of the backpack if, uh-oh, Table AD and AE. Well, here's here's AD and there's AE over there. So those two ropes have a max weight of 200 pounds each, okay? So if that one gets over 200 pounds, breakage. If that one gets over 200 pounds, breakage, okay? Uh, and then cable, what's the next one down here? Uh, the next one down here can only be this guy. Oh, what cable ABC, which where's ABC? Oh, it's this one big long cable, right? It's all one cable. Uh, it can only be 100 pounds max, okay? So, let's see if we can figure this out, okay? Step one, draw a free body diagram. And I think the thing I wanna go after is point A, okay? So here's point A, okay? What's going on on point A? Well, point A has got all kinds of business going on. I'm gonna draw this little pulley here just for fun, okay? It has this guy. Remember, cables are dumb. They only know how to pull. You can't have a magic pushing rope. They only, they're always in tension, okay? So here's TAD, okay? And then I got this guy, TAE. And then I've got these guys here, right? I got one here, I got one here. And I got one there, okay? Now, we could call this, I'm just gonna call this T, T, and T, because what do we know about a rope that goes around a pulley? That the tension here is the same as the tension there, is the same as the tension there, isn't it, okay? The, the, the rope has got to have the same tension everywhere because those are frictionless pulleys, okay? All right, and so the one thing that I see next that I want to do is I want to break up these forces at angles into comp comp components, okay? So this guy has a component here and there, and this guy up here has one there and there, okay? And they gave us in the problem that this is 30 degrees, okay, 30, I'm on marker, and that uh, this guy here is 50 degrees, so I'm gonna label these components so that everything is labeled real nice and pretty. So when I write my equations of equilibrium, it is easy as pie. Okay, here we go. Um, what should we do? This guy here is T, A, D, cos 50. This guy is T, A, D, sine of 50. Uh, this guy here is T, uh, sine of 30. And this guy is T cosine of 30. By now, you should be able to break vectors into components just like automatic. Man, we ought to be getting good at it. You know what I mean? Okay, I got two equations. Now, I know that you're a little alarmed right now that we have one, two, three unknowns. But that's okay because we're going to use some of this info right here to kind of relieve the burden. Okay, so we're going to make it a little easy on us. So let's write these two equations, and those two equations are sum of the forces in the x. Now this thing is not moving, right? It's in equilibrium, so that has to be zero, and the sum of the forces in the y has got to be zero. Okay, here we go. Let's write these two equations. All right, what do you see in the x here? Well, there's two guys right there, so let me write those guys. TAD cos 50 plus T sine 30. Anybody else in the X direction? Oh yeah, that guy. Remember, you can't have equal zero if you have all positive junk. Positive stuff doesn't equal zero. You gotta have some positive and you gotta have some negatives, okay? So here he is, minus T-A-E, okay? So, and then let's do the Y equation. So again, I like to write the positive stuff first. So I got TAD sine 50, okay? And then what do I got going downhill? Well, I got that guy and those two there, okay? So minus 2T, okay? And then this guy here, minus 
So T cos 30. Okay. Again, I got some positives and some negatives. Looking good. Okay, so what do you want to do? You know what we got to do? We got to pick one thing. I know you're like, hey, set ABC to 100 and set those two to 200. No, that's a bad plan. Okay, set one of these two to 200 and then ABC to 100. No, that's a bad plan. Okay, can we at least set one thing equal to its max? Yes, that's the only thing you can do. If you set these to max, you can only do one at a time. That's it. Don't set any more than that because if you set one to max, what you're doing is you're assuming that the other one's automatically going to be at max. And is that true? I don't know. It might be, but it would be like a miracle, right? So who do you want to set to max? I don't know. This guy has two forces pulling on it, and that guy only has one. So I kind of think he's the weakest link. I'm going to set TAE to max. What do you think? And TAE's max is 200 pounds, okay? So I'm going to make that guy right there 200 pounds, okay? I'm going to set him to max, okay? Now let me, what I'm going to do is just simplify these equations a little bit so that my system solver will help me out, right? All right, so, and this is not my system solver calculator. You're, you're going to see me switch calculators in a second. Cosine of 50 is equal to 0.643. So 0.643 TAD, okay? Um, plus sine of 30 is uh, a half. So 0.5 T is equal to, move that to either side, whoop, 200, okay? So there's equation one. Equation number two, what is the sine of 50? 0.766. Cosine of 30 is 0.866. And then, um, so that's minus two, right? So that's minus 2.866t is equal to zero. Okay? And there's equation number two. Okay, watch this. Switching calculators. Whoopee! Bang! Okay, there you go. Okay, here we go. Second, system solve. Where is that? Right there. Two by two, enter. Okay, here we go. 0. 0.643, enter. Um, 0. 0.5, enter. 200, enter. And then I got uh, 0. 0.766, enter. Minus 2.8. 6, 6, enter, 0, enter, and then bam, solve. All right, here we go. So x, which is, which is TAD, okay? My little calculator tells me TAD is, is a 257.52, and T is equal to 68.82. Well, crud. Okay, so here you go. What happened here? What happened? Well, here's what happened. I substituted in for TAE, right? But look what I got. I got TAD is 257. What's the maximum TAD can handle? 200. So who really should have been the maximum? TAD should have been the maximum, right? He's the weakest link, okay? So sometimes you don't know and you just gotta plug in and, and see what happens. And so this guy is the one that should have been 200. This guy should have been 200, okay? Not this guy over here, okay? So what does that do? That means that this equation here is no longer any good, okay? Go away. And this equation here, not any good anymore, okay? Go away. All right, but there, here's the good news, okay? So we, we wrote it symbolically, so no big deal. These equations are still valid. We're just gonna make a different guy max. Now, this second equation here is good, right? Because this is still minus 2.866. Um, right? Uh, sine of 30. Clear. It's 0.866. I know it is. I've done it a million times. Times T, right? So this guy right here is going to give us T, isn't it? So 200 times the sine of 50 uh, equals... 153.2, so, and then I'm gonna take that and divide it by 2.866 to, whoops, divide it by, ah, answer, 
divided by 2.866 equals 53.45. So T is equal to 53.46, 53.46 pounds, okay? Which is rope ABC, right? That's ABC, A, B, C, okay? Oh, what was his max? ABC's max was 100. So we're well under 100, so that rope is okie dokie, okay? So take TABC, which is this guy, and now make him 53.46, and then boom, we got TAE, right? Here we go. So 53.46 times the sine of 30, which is 0.5, equals, and then plus this guy, 200 times the cosine of 50 equals. Okay, and so T, what do we say? TAD was 200, that puts him at his max. And then um, TAE is equal to, what did my calculator say? 155.3, okay? So, we still haven't answered the question, which is, what does the backpack say? Say backpack. No, what does the backpack weigh? What does the backpack weigh? Okay. Well, what is in this rope right here? What's the tension in that rope right there that's holding the backpack up? 53.46. Well, here's the backpack. Okay. He's got a rope and a rope, and here he is, right? BP, backpack. Okay. I've got... 53.46, 53.46, right? If you do a sum of the force in the Y, what do you think the backpack weighs? I don't know, 53.46, six times two. The backpack, max backpacks, one oh six point nine two. And if you're carrying a backpack that weighs 106 pounds, you're not going to be backpacking very far because you're going to be very, very tired. Okay, there you go, team. A lot of important lessons in that one, right? The rope going around a pulley, same on both sides. Um, only substitute one maximum at a time. Write your equations of equilibrium symbolically so you can go check them and see if we're going to guess, did we guess right? We didn't guess right at first, right? We guessed what you call wrong, but then that told us who was the weakest link. Go back, solve it, no problemo, okay? Next problem.